is a tensic. It's a rope tensioning tool. I guess developed to work on horn bows. This one is about three fingers wide, two fingers tall. Length is from my fingertips to about the inside of my elbow. Measurements will follow at the end. The hole there is sized for 3 8 inch diameter rope. And uh, the curvature is enough. Uh, it's just a little wider than the bow I'm going to be working on. I first came across these on some YouTube videos. Links to those two videos will be in the description below. That one's made out of uh, ash. And here, putting together the bamboo on top of the hickory using tight bond three wood glue, clamping it in place. Um, could have clamped it even more sturdy. You'll see it move a little bit just onto the sawhorse. Uh, rope I'm using is sisal, uh, 3 8 inch. I got a 50 foot roll. It turns out that for each side of the bow, for each limb, I ended up using about 26 feet of it. So if you space the rope out just a little bit more, you could probably get away with one 50 foot roll for a bow of this length. Um, the working load limit is about 100 pounds. The breaking limit is probably around 1,000 pounds. Um, it gets twisted pretty tight here. You can hear that tension. And as I keep going around, you can see it's definitely squeezing excess glue out of the joint. The two other examples of a tensic that I've seen don't have a groove going around it. Um, it did seem kind of useful here just to keep the rope in place as I'm turning it around. And I think it was also a little easier on the rope, having a nice channel to run through. That top hole, I also eased it up quite a bit so it wouldn't be a sharp corner on the rope. On this side, you can uh, see how handy it is to have somebody helping you out, just keeping the rope from getting untangled. Um, the first limb, we had the uh, spool of rope stationary, and it definitely started getting kinked up a lot. We actually took it off the spool towards the end and uh, untwisted it. Um, However, just from spinning it around the way I was with the lay of the strands and the three strand sisal, um, it stayed really nice and tight. On this side, uh, winding in the opposite way, it tended to loosen up the three strands by the time I got to the end. So next time I'll probably jump around to the other side of the bow so that I'm still twisting in the same direction around the bow. Um, and definitely have the rope off of the spool so that it's easier to un untangle, unkink. I wasn't really concentrating too much on any particular spacing. Um, 
this side ended up spaced out a little bit more than the first side. But they're tight. You can't move those whatsoever, and, and that rope is hard just from being stressed so much. Start to finish, uh, you know, from when I started putting the glue onto the bamboo and the hickory to when we finished up with the last clamp, it's about half an hour. And yeah, really neat. Probably overkilling the clamps there in the middle, but here it is all, all done. And you can tell the spacing got a little wider on the right limb. But it's still incredibly tight. There it is. <laughs>